back home in Nigeria where I come from we cook our meals like we really <laughs> really cook our meals we even have roasted foods as part of our dishes like we have roasted plantain roasted corn roasted fish so understand when I tell you that trying this meal today was no small task Hey guys welcome to my channel today i'll be trying another dish this is something that has been a very very big curiosity of mine like i've wanted to try this meal so bad and coming to canada i've heard a lot of people say oh it's my best meal it's my best meal and i'm like what how how can it even be your best meal but you know what like they say, yam and the curious. I had to try this. And so today I'm going to be trying sushi. The common belief is that sushi is raw fish. And I get why that could be a misconception. And so because of the fact that a lot of people were like, you know what, sushi is my best meal. I was like, I need to go find out what exactly sushi contains and why people would actually want raw fish as their best meal. So after doing some research, I found out that it is actually a misconception. Yes, a lot of sushi recipes have raw content, right? You have raw salmon, we have raw tuna, raw shrimp, yes. But the name sushi is actually not synonymous with raw fish. According to Wikipedia, sushi is a traditional Japanese dish of prepared vinegared rice called sushi meshi usually with some sugar and salt accompanying a variety of ingredients such as seafood often raw and vegetables styles of sushi and its presentation vary widely but the one key ingredient is sushi rice also referred to as shari or sumeshi i hope i'm pronouncing this right the point i'm trying to make here is that yes some sushi recipes have raw fish in them or raw seafood but let's understand that there are other recipes you have the dynamite roll which i found out is like rice wrapped around avocados and all that thing same with the california roll and then you have the shrimp tempura which actually is cooked shrimp and so I'm like, oh, now I get it. Now I understand why people would say sushi is my best meal because there are other varieties. There are so many varieties to actually choose from other than actual raw fish. I feel like one thing I learned from this particular research was that there are just certain cultures that we do not know about. So if we take out the time to just do a little research, just a quick Google search and you can find out what these things are about rather than just carrying the misconception that, oh, you know what? Sushi is raw fish right that's not the full story i tried wagyu beef which is also a japanese dish and this week i'm trying sushi which is also japanese yeah you should have guessed by now i'm obsessed with japan that's not to say i'm not going to try all that dishes but right now i'm actually just going to focus on japan and i have wanted to go to japan for as long as i can remember and i will go there soon i have that faith that i'll go there soon so without further ado i am going to be trying sushi tonight so i use my food delivery app again i got my sushi from a place called Homba sushi they had a, um, a lot of variety i had heard about california roll from some colleagues as well as dynamite rolls so i was like you know what baby steps try those first if you like it then maybe you could try more options later so i threw in the shrimp tempura i got three types of sushi so you have the california roll the dynamite roll and the shrimp tempura from my research i found out that sushi is usually served at room temperature and in as much as i do not like hot like really steamy food i also do not like cold food and after i had to get ready for this video my sushi got cold so i am going to heat it up i do not know if this is a bad idea guys if you're watching this please comment in the comment section if that was a mistake but i cannot just bear to eat food cold 
hopefully that doesn't change the flavor and the taste and my experience with trying sushi for the first time so guys if you are trying to lose weight or you're on a diet sushi is actually a really good meal for that it keeps you filled it doesn't have too many fats and it has a lot of nutrients packed into this one little roll <laughs> so yeah think about that now although i said that i am obsessed with japan i have not been able to get my <laughs> chopstick game going so if i end up making a fool out of myself don't laugh i have a backup fork just in case <laughs> this doesn't go well so the sushi came in a really nice package like i couldn't stop taking pictures of it it was really cute had this you know arranged in rows the different sushi rolls and like i said before i ordered the california roll the dynamite roll and the shrimp tempura now one thing i noticed when i picked up my order was that i did not like the smell i got now for the shrimp tempura i asked that it should be made spicy and i'm not sure but i feel like that's why there's this like guys i don't know if you can see this but there's some Stuff like tomatoes or something like that and if you know me you know that I'm not really a fan of tomatoes like I like fresh tomatoes I can manage ketchup but this one actually smells like tomato puree and I hate tomato puree eating raw I feel like it should be used for cooking God help me in this decision I made to try sushi on that thing I also must add is because this is my first time trying sushi I don't really know what is good sushi and what is bad sushi so I feel like it would be unfair to make a concrete decision with just one try so I'm willing depending on my experience today I'm willing to try it again with a different restaurant and see how that goes so I don't know why this came with <laughs> with the food but I guess they wanted to give me dessert or oh, am I supposed to like sprinkle it I thought that was lemon do you do that for but I'm totally confused right now about this then I got some sauces which I think it should be soy sauce and this is probably the tomato thing that was put on top um so i'm going to try the california roll first and it says the california roll contains cucumber crab or an imitation of crab and avocado so guys are you ready <laughs> are you ready for this i'm about to try sushi for the first time watch this video back and see my reactions when I put the sushi in my mouth but hmm it's actually really nice okay I'm surprised because I feel like for some reason I had a bad impression like I felt like I was gonna hate it um the next is dynamite roll I feel like I might, might have mixed them up. Like I probably just ate. I probably just ate the dynamite roll. Now I'm eating the California roll. But we'll see. So Wikipedia says a dynamite roll is a type of Western style sushi. So obviously not necessarily like Japanese. Um, it usually contains a piece of prawn masago with vegetables like radish sprouts avocados and or cucumber as well as japanese mayonnaise okay so for california roll it's crab and for the dynamic roll it is prawn let's see how this goes now i haven't added any sauces because i want to know what the real taste is like obviously the sauces are there for a reason I feel like I'm gonna dump this on my body. Okay, chopstick game is 
definitely not on right now. So whichever this flat one is, California roll. I actually prefer it to the, the, the first one I tried, which is crazy. Yes, the tastes are similar, but there's something different. There's this creamy texture. I think there's more avocados. Okay, so this is the shrimp tempura, I guess. Generally, I'm biased towards shrimp, and trust me, that just won it. That won it. Like I love the shrimp tempura, the flavor, and I thought I was gonna hate the tomato smell or whatever it was. But it's actually hot. It's actually like spicy, which made everything just come together in my mouth. I feel like this was like an extra but it has shrimp in it too so I want to eat it <laughs> ladies and gentlemen yes I may not have tried the raw salmon or tuna and all those other like raw, actual raw fish because I'm like I'm trying sushi for the first time I really do not want to dive into like go from 0 to 100 in like 2 seconds so I really enjoyed this like it's so filling it just like occupies my whole mouth with so much burst of flavors like avocados, cucumbers, like my favorite veggies basically and the rice the rice is so tasty i love the rice obviously the shrimp tempura is my best like i already said but i would actually just rate everything like an eight or something like it's really a good dish so guys if you have any bad impression about sh sushi i implore you to just try it right you will be surprised and one thing I would say is because you know, Omo Nigeria now, I would definitely add Pepe. Obviously, after I'm done with this video and I'm lounging and watching TV, I would actually just sprinkle a little bit of Pepe because I love spicy. So, eating sh um, sushi without any of the spices would actually make me nauseous in the long run. Tasting it, it um, initially was perfect, but. I don't know if I can continue eating a whole box of sushi without any sort of, you know, spice, if you know what I mean. But the shrimp tempura, because I asked for it to be spicy, was perfect. Perfecto. I'm going to try it with the soy sauce. Personally, not a fan of soy sauce. Don't crucify me. But I'm going to try it with soy sauce because if it's recommended, then why not, you know? So this peach stuff right here is ginger and there's a way they actually made it so apparently you're supposed to like this a piece of the ginger in your mouth in between sushi rolls so that's it's supposed to help with the balance I guess of flavors as well as wasabi as well wasabi is really strong so if you're trying sushi please take a little bit at a time you do not want to irritate yourself so guys I think we've come to the end of this video I'm probably gonna heat up more sushi lounge watch some tv i am really happy i tried this because yes this could definitely be part of my staples right it is so healthy so delicious and it's beyond my expectation so stay tuned to this channel if you are new please subscribe if you are joining me again as an old subscriber thank you so much for your support and your continued 
viewing don't forget to give this video a thumbs up tell me what your take is on sushi have you ever tried it do you think it's something you would ever try have i convinced you that it could be something that you can try let me know in the comment section also if you have other dishes you want me to try put them in the comment section and if i can get them where i am i would definitely try them thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next review video right now i'm gonna continue digging in, into my sushi probably gonna go and get it fork too because this is becoming embarrassing bye guys hey!